Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a very quick little video here on the horror channel. This actually blew my mind when I saw this yesterday because, well, here in the UK, Halloween Kills is only going to be in the theatres. On the 15th of October, I got my tickets booked already because Halloween is one of my favourite, favourite horror films of all time. Michael Myers is my second favourite killer after Pinhead and... I just can't wait to see Halloween Kills, but obviously, in the States, it's going straight to streaming, the same day it's released in theatres. So they're doing the same as what HBO Max has done with a, f a lot of their Warner Brother movies, but I do have a little bit of concern for Halloween Kills. HBO Max, they've released the majority of their big films straight away on home release. Suicide Squad has been pirated so much. It wouldn't believe I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually one of the biggest pirated releases of this year. Obviously, they're going to have The Matrix 4 on it, The Matrix Resurrection. That is going to be the most pirated film this year. 100% I can guarantee it. But when you got Halloween going to streaming as well, same day as theaters, to me that's going to make it lose a bit of money in my eyes because people may be like, oh, I don't want to go out. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go to the theatres. I could just download this or watch it at home via Peacock. And to be honest with you, who has Peacock in the States? I got quite a few friends who live in the uh, in the States and they've got, you know, they got HBO Max and a few other ones, but none of them have got Peacock. And I'm like, well, you're going to have it for Halloween? And they're like, no, I'll just pirate it. And I'm like, oh, you know, it sucks. Because I want Halloween Kills to do good business. When Halloween, the re well, the semi-reboot, if you want to call it that, which came out in 2018, it made $285 million, I think, worldwide. Which, to be honest with you, for a film that was made on a $40 million budget, that is huge. But this is what we got, so obviously, as you can see from Bloody Disgusting... Halloween Kills come home to Peacock same day it's released. Huge news on the Halloween front tonight as it's been announced that Halloween Kills is now a day and date release, coming home the same day it's released in theatres. Halloween Kills comes home to Peacock October 15th, the latest sign that nothing is back to normal on the theatrical front and everything is still changing on a daily basis. Back in 2018, David Gordon Green's Halloween was a massive hit for Universal, Blumhouse and Miramax, seeing up 255, right, so it was 255 they made, worldwide. The day and date release could certainly cut into the sequel's box office profit next month, but it's clear that the folks in charge have made peace with the fact that giving audiences the option is the best course of action for right now. Pandemic still a serious problem in the States and only half the country vaccinated. As of this writing, theatrical attendance won't be getting back to normal here in the remainder of 2021. As a result, release dates are shifting and release plans changing entirely at a moment's notice. So this shift comes as no surprise, even if it's a bit unexpected. If you want to stream it, you'll find Halloween Kills only on Peacock, October 15th. If you'd rather experience on the big screen, that option is also available to you. Stay safe. And that's what we got there. We got a little bit of the trailer showing it. Halloween, Michael comes home, theatres and streaming only on Peacock, October 15th. Then we go into uh, the synopsis. But I really do find this a bit sad to see because, like I said, here in the UK, it's only going to be in the theatres. I know for a fact one of my mates here in the UK, one of my best mates, he hasn't been to the theatre, oh God, in about 15 years because he doesn't like how loud it gets because he has got sensitive hearing. So to him, this is fantastic because he can watch it now at home the same day I go and watch it in the theatre. And then, you know, we well, you know, I kind of like that because we can talk about it, you know. We can talk about, oh, do I, you know, what's your favourite part? What do you think of this? What do you think of the story? How do you think number three is going to be? That's the big one for me. Number three. We're supposedly getting Halloween Ends next October. But if Halloween Kills is pirated to hell, which, like I said, I really do think it will be, is they going to be like, right, okay, we're not going to do number three because we did we lost money. Because they haven't filmed Halloween uh, Ends yet. But, fingers crossed that this does do good business. And maybe, who knows, 
Peacock may get a lot of people signing up for it. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.